In this video, we take a look at the trolley buses in Ivano Francisk in Ukraine. Let's start off with the Belarus BKM trolley bus. In Ivano Francisk, the trolley buses run very slowly, painfully slowly. In the city centre, they run slow, but even when they run out of town into the countryside, they still often run pretty slow. This is because the trolley bus wires don't have any smoothing to follow the curve of the road. So when there's even the slightest bend in the road, the trolley bus wires run straight between gantries. Then at each gantry, there's a sun jarring change of angle in the wires. And which means the trolley bus has to stay slow, so every time it passes a gantry, the trolley poles don't fall off. Literally, public transport is so slow here. No wonder most people use the crazy buses rather than the trolley buses, but on the route that runs the furthest out of town, on the last couple of stops, there are some straight sections so the trolley bus can get to its full speed of 35 to 40 miles an hour. So let's ride it. Now I'm currently at the furthest point out of town that the trolley buses run and notice how rough the road is. Let's now take a look at this trolley bus. And let's now ride the bus back towards the town centre. And let's take a look at another type of trolley bus. This time it is the Grafenstift trolley bus. And this one has the epic, classic Keeper Electric VF drive and sounds just like the Croydon tram. But sadly, I did not manage to find a single one of these trolley buses that actually ran fast. Sadly, this model of bus is not used on the only route that has the fast section furthest out of town and all the other routes are literally painfully slow. But at least it does get just enough speed to hear the classic sound of the Keeper VF drive.
In Nirvana Francis gets also some classic 1980s Skoda trolley buses but there's only a couple of these left as they're currently being replaced and the couple that are left are very rarely used in service. For on the day I was here I did see one of them but it was just being ran round out of service to test it and there was none in service on this day which is really annoying because I really wanted to ride one of these epic old trolley buses. Also in Ivana Francisca, apparently there's also some Volvo trolley buses, but I were not running any of them on the day I was here. The reason why I came to this city is because I got recommended to visit this city, because there was some very rare YMZ trolley buses, but sadly by the time I got here, these have all been replaced. So this city was the classic city for trolley buses, but sadly not really anymore. Yeah, I should have got here years earlier and it would have been a much better trip. And now, let's take a look at the crazy buses in Ivano Francisque. So then, the crazy bus. The small little buses run by individual people which are in direct competition with the local buses. The crazy bus is the ultimate example of both the best and the worst of capitalism. Capitalism has its good and bad side. Now, the local buses and trolley buses in Ivano Francis cost eight Ukrainian to ride them, which is 23 pence, when the crazy buses cost 12 Ukrainian, which is 34 pence, which is a particularly expensive crazy bus. Like, that's the most expensive crazy bus I've ever come across in Ukraine. So, let's talk about the good and bad of crazy buses and capitalism. The good side of capitalism is when you have lots of demand it brings in competition and during the day the crazy buses provide a very good service. I was sitting eating my lunch two miles out of town and there was a crazy bus taking people into town every 60 seconds. That is an impressive bus service. You just walk out of your apartment, go to a bus stop and within a minute a crazy bus will come to take you into town. That is such a good service. And if I was someone like Jacob Rees-Mogg, I'd be singing the joys of capitalism. And there are some good examples of capitalism, such as, for example, supermarkets, lots of competition, it brings down prices. And you've got low-cost airlines like Ryanair and EasyJet, offering very cheap prices. In fact, it costs me just five pounds each way for a flight from London to Ukraine and Ukraine back to London again. Like, that is so cheap. But I am not Jacob Rees-Mogg, and I'm also willing to say there's lots of very bad capitalism. And the crazy bus is also the perfect example of this, because in the evening, there are very few crazy buses about, because there's less people wanting to use the buses, meaning there's less profitability for the crazy bus owners, so they simply don't run their buses, even at just 8 o'clock, which isn't even that late. There's very few crazy buses about. Despite in the day being crazy bus every 60 seconds, at 8 o'clock in the evening, there was a crazy bus every 5th. 15 minutes. That is a bad service. Like if you're just staying in town to the evening, you'll suddenly find there's very few buses back home. And when it gets to 10 o'clock, there are no crazy buses at all whatsoever. That is a bad bus service. And at 8 o'clock in the evening, the few crazy buses that were still running, are running services from the city centre out to the tower blocks out of town. Then they're running out of service direct back into the city centre to pick up more passengers. This means that if you were in one of the out of town tower blocks and he wanted to go into the city centre, there there are no crazy buses at all whatsoever to take you into the city at 8 o'clock in the evening. That is bad. And talking of bad capitalism, there's so, so many examples. Like I could talk about it for hours. When capitalism is left completely unregulated, bad practices come. The service you receive is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Anyway, here's some video of me riding a crazy bus at 8 o'clock in the evening in Ivano Francisk.
then, here I am out of town. This journey on the crazy bus took less than half the time compared to a public service bus. Because to get back into town, there's no crazy buses taking me back into town. So I used a public service diesel bus and it took over twice as long to get back into town and what the crazy bus took to get me to this location. And there was no traffic at all heading back into town. So this bus should have been quick, yet it was painfully slow, which is why most people will prefer to use the crazy bus than the regular buses here. Thank <laughs> you.